Good morning, everybody. So, um, for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, the reason why um, it's taking me a quick minute to post another video is because life happens and I moved back to Las Vegas for yet another fresh start, which is totally fine. Sometimes we all need to start all over again and again and again. So here I am, starting over again. Um, my clothing line is still doing really well. The Olympia went really well. Uh, thank you all for that. And I am launching the winter series of items in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm still dialing in the finalized designs and getting those put up as soon as possible. Um, something that you may or may not have noticed is that I've lost about 10 pounds since I've made my move. And I'm going to go over why. One of the reasons why is because Vegas is a very appearance-driven place to live. So you have to take care of your body, especially over here. Um, and especially take care of your skin. I am not wearing makeup today, so please forgive me for that. Um, in regards to trying to be a party pit blackjack dealer, being a go-go dancer, working the pools for the summer. I mean, those are jobs that make good money and they are appearance-based. Uh, I have also tried to find normal office jobs, but um, my theory is if you try Googling my name, you find out all kinds of crazy stuff that's not even true, and people probably just look at it as a bunch of crap that they don't want in their office, which I totally get. So here I am trying to start my life over again. Wish me luck. Now, in regards to me losing weight, um, I switched from using the egg whites from 5% to Ego One brand vegan protein powder. Um, and it's made with pea protein, it has lots of vegetables in it because it's the all-in-one shake. So um, that's definitely keeping me on point. I have that every morning for breakfast with almond milk. And no, I'm not vegan, but I do feel like it digests easier than like whey protein. Um, and um, I just wanted to switch it up from the, the crystallized egg whites. The other thing that I recently started, like this last week, was the All Day May Caffeinated, that's coffee flavor. And because I'm a basic bitch, and I need my basic bitch coffee, but without all of the added fat and calories, I put a little bit of pumpkin spice in there so I get my vanilla pumpkin spice. You know, holiday time fix without all of the fat and calories. Now, the number one major thing that has helped me to lose my weight is Foodie Fit meal prep out here in Las Vegas. Um, they will do my custom meals. So this is four ounces of protein and one cup of green vegetables. So it's usually salmon or ground turkey or shrimp or sometimes even filet mignon with um, asparagus or spinach. The other thing that I get from them is some of their premium meals. I love the turkey Dan Dan Zoodles. So it's lean ground turkey with like a Thai peanut sauce over the zucchini noodles. Um, they also make low carb pizza. And let me tell you, the buffalo chicken pizza is only seven carbs and it is ridiculous because it's made on cauliflower crust. The other thing is I've upped my cardio. I am doing at least 35 minutes of cardio every morning and I try to go twice a day. So I'm trying to do morning and evening for a total of 70 minutes of cardio on the step mill. Um, but I will be honest with you, most days out of the week, I just do it once a day. I do my typical weight training and uh, one to two times a week, I am training with a personal trainer here named Michael Sheedy. Uh, if you want to follow him on Instagram, it's Michael Sheedy Fitness. He is notorious for getting girls into killer shape for auditioning for the pools because those are some uh, difficult jobs to land. So hopefully I will get there. Hopefully I will land one of those jobs. But for now, I'm, uh, I'm just focused on my business. I'm focused on starting my life over again. But like I said, shit happens. You gotta keep fucking going. We all have our good days, our bad days. Thank God for therapy um, and sunshine because I need sunshine. That helps. So I am gonna get in a workout today. Um, I've been working out with my girlfriend, Shannon. She's been training for nationals. She's actually headed to Miami today. I'm really bummed I couldn't go with her. But I'm sure she's gonna do great because she looks amazing. But now I'm like, oh crap, I have to do cardio by myself? What am I gonna do, watch Dawson's Creek for an hour? Oh. To um, further get my day started, I shut off the camera for a second. I downed my shake, I put my food away, and now I'm going to do my basic bitch 5% coffee. So this is the, um, the vanilla coffee flavor. And it's 125 milligrams of caffeine per scoop. I only use one scoop. Um, you guys know from watching me on Instagram and me talking about mental health awareness, I suffer from anxiety and PTSD. So my doctors have recommended for me to not have a whole lot of caffeine. Um, the other thing that I do to make it basic, bitch, is I put in the pumpkin spice flavor because um, I don't want to go have a bunch of fat and extra calories that they put in your freaking coffee, if, you know, Starbucks or coffee bean or wherever. Anyway, I just use regular cold water and uh, just a couple of dabs of my pumpkin spice. 
I will put in ice after I mix this. Um, but there's only one gram of fats and 10 calories. Like that's way better for you than going and having typical basic coffee. The other thing to take into account is that this is made with green coffee and green tea. So that's the, the energy factor. That's how they, they give you your energy instead of traditional um, black coffee beans. Um, and cold brew coffee is healthier for you than hot coffee because it's less acidic. So that's another reason I was like, you know, I'm gonna give this a try. And um, it doesn't have a weird chalky flavor. You don't have any kind of like funky aftertaste. All you taste is the coffee flavor and a little bit of pumpkin spice. So now that this is gonna get me amped up for doing my cardio and my workout, it'll also help me to get focused on finishing my winter line. All right, so I'm ready to go do leg day. I couldn't find anybody to work out with me. Um, so I'm just gonna have to enlist the help of whoever's nearby to possibly help me film this. So as soon as I got home from the gym today, I had my foodie fit prepped meal and it was one of my custom meals. So I had the four ounces of salmon with a cup of asparagus. Um, I was so hungry that I didn't even think to like turn on the camera and start filming. So that's what I ate. And um, I have cut out Ben and Jerry's. I did have a cheat this week. I had a pint of Ben and Jerry's this week. But I, I say I cut it out in the sense that I don't eat it every night like I used to. So when I'm craving something sweet, or um, like a little tasty treat. Instead of having ice cream, I allow myself a decent spoonful of almond butter. Now this one, I hope that it goes in focus, I got at Walmart for like three bucks. It is no sugar or salt added. So my spoonful of almond butter is my dessert for the evening. And I give myself like a friendly spoonful, if you guys can tell. It's like not ridiculous, but it's also not stingy. But uh, it's not ice cream, but it's a much healthier al alternative, I feel, as opposed to eating an entire pint of ice cream. So I guess it's not so much that I cut out ice cream, I cut back on it a lot. So to me, it's like cutting it out. But um, I definitely think that if you have goals in mind, I'm gonna sit this down for now. If you have goals in mind for yourself, and it has to do with weight loss or leaning out or whatever, if you're not looking to compete, you don't have to do it in eight weeks. Like, Take your time because it is so much easier for you to stick to your workout regimen and your diet plan if you are slowly implementing your changes. I mean, I, I crave sugar all the time. I'm addicted to sugar, I know that. So I have to like slowly take things out of my diet from time to time. And then of course when I binge and I have a pint of Ben and Jerry's, it takes me a little while to not crave sugar again. But um, with that being said, it is so much more beneficial to you to slowly take things out of your diet or find an alternative to it so that you're not torturing yourself and then completely giving up on everything. So uh, that's just my suggestion. Um, I am not going to show you guys in this episode what I have coming up for Positively Evil's winter launch because we're still finalizing stuff and I think it's gonna take a little longer than anticipated and this video is probably gonna go up in the next day or two. Um, so when I can share that stuff with you, I will, but please stay tuned because it will launch first on the positively underscore E-V-O-L Instagram. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram, C underscore N-O-5, and I'll be sure to launch stuff there as well, as well as contests, any kind of like Black Friday sale or maybe the Cyber Monday sale. I haven't decided which one I'm going to do yet, but that'll be up. I know I had something else to tell you and I'm totally forgetting right now. Um, Oh, Cameo. So I've been doing Cameo for almost a year now and I've gotten a great response from a lot of followers. Thank you guys so much. So Cameo has a bunch of celebrities, like 
actual celebrities like football players and actors and actresses and comedians and then they have influencers they have youtube influencers they have instagram influencers so i'm on there as an instagram influencer and you just pay like a small fee for us to send you a happy birthday to you or your friend a congratulations maybe some words of encouragement so i actually have to go get dolled up and um and do one of those for a follower and um, I did one last week for somebody's birthday. I did one a couple weeks ago for somebody who did a powerlifting meet to just give them further encouragement. So I think that it's so awesome that people want me to like give them words of encouragement or advice or to say happy birthday. So thank you guys so much for making me feel special. I certainly hope that me responding to any of you makes you feel special. Um, I just, I, I want you guys to really know, I truly, truly appreciate your support and your encouragement I appreciate you following me, subscribing, um, just, I, I can't express to you guys enough how much I appreciate it, and I think that not enough people tell you, hey, thank you so much, but from the bottom of my heart, thank you, I appreciate it, and thanks for watching.